Hey, my dudes. Hey, my dudes. Hey, my dudes. Um, I bought this today uh, on the Amazons. It's the AirTech Ultra Type 6 um, IT Dusters um, thing, I guess. Uh, yeah, they, they have a, a, a Type 3. Apparently the Type 3 model, it's light gray in color. This is dark gray in color because it's more pro and industrial. But I, I believe the, the, the main difference between this one and the cheaper one um, is it's like 60 miles per hour or something. And this one's like more like 75 miles per hour. I don't remember. So we have like some sort of uh, pouch or dusting thing here. I, you know, I, I bought this. You may be wondering why did I even buy this thing? And it's so I d can dust my computer. I bought my computer like what? like a year and a half ago or something and it's you know getting a little dusty and I used to have access to spray cans those uh, you know cans that spray compressed air um, and I was gonna buy some compressed air cans but like I didn't know which ones to buy they all have terrible ratings and this thing you can see it comes with like all these different scrubber things. This thing was highly rated um, and I wanted to give it a shot. This uh, comes with all these nozzles and uh, obviously this thing's for more than just like cleaning a computer. I got the more industrial one. I guess again it's got like a stronger uh, motor in it to fire off more compressed air uh, at a higher rate and speed. I think um, I read some reviews and it, 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 apparently it's got like two different speeds. So they, I, originally when I started looking up these things, um, I was coming across nothing but like battery operated ones. Like, oh, the battery will only lasts like a couple of seconds. You know, this is a piece of crap and then you have to charge it again. But uh, there's a lot of them that you plug into an electrical outlet. So I was like, that's perfect. You know, my computer's right next to, like, a, a power strip. I just plug this bad boy in. We can see, okay, this needs definitely a nozzle. This would uh, not be good. Apparently, like, again, I was reading some reviews, so I'm probably a little bit more knowledgeable than somebody who just bought this randomly. Uh, you know, apparently the nozzles are designed to uh, reduce airflow. Uh, or have holes in the nozzles to, you know, reduce the speed and I guess maybe, you know, whatever. So I'm trying to figure out which one would actually be good for dusting a computer. This nozzle looks pretty big. So again, air, you know, those dusting cans have little tiny nozzles that shoot like very fast compressed air at a, at a, in a very specific... Okay, so maybe this, so... Maybe this thing, maybe this would be optimum for dusting a computer. And like I said, like people mentioned, like they have holes in them. So I guess this is to release some of the air pressure so it's not too strong, and which could, you know, add pressure to the motor and overheat it maybe possibly. So we got all sorts of little tiny nozzles and shit like that. This one looks, uh, you know, it's the most narrow. It's probably the most precise. Um, and then again, we got these, uh, scrubber things. These are just scrubbers. These aren't even, like, these aren't even, like, something that you attach to the device. These are, okay, so it's got these, uh, things on the side, these prongs, and so I guess you just push it in like this and then rotate it. So that it's on and doesn't fly off. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. So we can see it's it's on. It's rotated on. So it doesn't fly off. Apparently on some of these devices it flies off. So. Looks like it has two different speeds. Down and up. So we got two little bars here. One little bar up here. So it's probably stronger down here maybe. So I think the cheaper version only has one speed. And again, you have to hold it. Uh, these things are, like a lot of these things are known to overheat these. 
devices, so you probably wouldn't want to be spraying it. So this is Ultra Type 6. It's got a very thick cable, comes with a lot of accessories, and um, we'll see how it turns out. It even has um, some things on the bottom. Oh, it's got a filter on the bottom. Yeah, I heard people talk about that, like, you know, it's going to, you're going to have to clean the dust out of the duster. So I'm thinking maybe I should plug it into the wall, give it a try. So pause the video and I'll give it a try and then come back to you guys. Maybe even turn it on on camera. Um, I'm going to see how it goes. So give me a second. I'm going to review it. Um, also, you know, a lot of people warn not to spin the fans on the computer with these dusters. I, I remember I, I would do that every single time. Oh, it's so fun. You know, you're spinning up the fans with these high pressure air things, but apparently you're supposed to hold the fan, so, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to plug it in and just see how strong this is. Um, hmm. uh, I think maybe I could have put it on a different way. I guess not, maybe not. The nozzle's kind of pointing at an angle. Okay, so I'm going to pause this and try it out. And they didn't have my Monster Ultra Sunrise, so I just got a normal white can and a low carb. So I'm going to try this bad boy. Yeah, boys. Okay, I have this thing plugged in. And one thing I noticed immediately is just as much air comes out of this tip as the sides. So there is a shit ton of air coming out of the vents on the side. I could argue maybe even more air coming out of these than the tip of this. And it does see, like, so you kind of get this big, broad bur bur birth, <laughs> burst of air from the, the left, the right, and down the center. So this looks like a very narrow nozzle for precise blowing. But no, there's air coming out of both sides. It's a, a huge radius of air blowing. So we have this very loud. And again, there's actually more air coming out of the sides than the, the nozzle at the front. So I guess that would overheat the thing if, the, you know, there's too much air pressure coming out of the front of the nozzle. So this one may actually be better because there's only one nozzle, no holes on the side. So that one was not a good one. I'm starting to smell a little bit of hotness, but yeah, this one's more directional. There's no holes on the side. Um, yeah, the, the air actually gets hot pretty quick. Let me see. The air gets hot as it's like winding down. The air starts to get hot. Yeah, when it starts and when it stops, the, the air gets hotter. But then it gets cool while you're actually using it. So again, I'm probably not... The, the, sm the slow speed is probably good enough, to be honest with you. Yeah, I, I think the high speed probably too high, to be honest, for dusting a computer. Um, I think this would... It's probably going to work pretty good, to be honest. Um, so again, there's a lot of different brands. Um, again, this was pretty strong, pretty big blast area. It's not like a, a small little narrow blast like you get with those cans, you know, those dusting cans. And, um, you know, there's all different sizes. I'm kind of curious how each one of these uh, operates at this point. Oh yeah, this is pretty loud. Uh, so there's a small little thing. Pretty cool. Sounds like a vacuum cleaner. That's to be expected. Got this one. So look at these two. This one's probably more narrow than this one, so you probably get a more focused blast with this one. 
I'm actually really disappointed by this little narrow one because it's actually not narrow at all. It's probably one of the least narrow ones. So again, this gives like a big thick blast, almost like a you know a hair dryer. So it's not as precise and stuff for electrical equipment, I guess. Um, so I guess again, you know, which one is actually the most narrow? Probably one, either of these would be best um, for dusting a computer maybe. Maybe this one. This one has air holes in the side of it too. Um, somewhere. It's got one hole to reduce the pressure. And it's the same hole size as this one. So I'm not exactly sure which one is best. I don't even want to bother trying this one. But uh, I guess that's it for this video. Uh, again, the, the blast radius is pretty big. It's not as narrow as like you may want. So that's probably to keep the thing from overheating too. You know, having a lot of pressure come out of a very fine, you know, tube. Um, so probably one of these two give you the most directional and intense uh, blast. Um, I'll see you guys later. I'm probably going to try this one first. So it's pretty cool. It does get hot, but apparently they all get hot. And again, you know, if you've ever used those air pressure cans, they use chemicals um, to uh, clean a computer. They get really cold. This gets kind of warm and hot. Okay. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Again, there's a filter in here, so I guess you have to clean that over time. But again, maybe if you're using this once or twice a year to dust your computer, a couple of times a year maybe, you probably don't have to worry about too much dust getting in. It'll probably last you many years before you even have to worry about dusting this duster. I'll see you guys later.